What up, mother people? It is your boy, Kevin Yee the Fondly, or AKA Kevin Yee, or Kevin the Refugee. Um, so I'm answering your questions. This is episode four of the Ask Kevin Yee show, inspired by Gary V. Shout out to you, Gary V. And also, um, I'm revamping these series. This is where you guys ask me all your questions and I answer them. I answer any sort of questions, so feel free to shoot me, always shoot me an email or DM me. Anyways, <clears throat> let's answer the questions. Today I have Madit. Uh, thank you. Um, by the way, I will see you in my stream. Shout out to you, man. Um, Madit asks, Hi, Kevin. I hope things are well. I'm Mother Madit. And I recently got in touch with you on Instagram. I enjoy your YouTube channel. I ask you, I want to ask you about your general interests slash involvement with entrepreneurship. What does entrepreneurship mean to you? I'm really not feeling the conventional pharmacy careers that are already out there. And I want to do something outside the box, perhaps in virtual VR, medical technology, social media, or mobile health. I feel like my school puts extreme emphasis on clinical slash hospital pharmacy careers, especially based on our highly specific curriculum. How would you recommend I go creating my own innovative path? Thank you so much, Madam Madit. PharmD candidate, woo! Graduate next year, son. Great. Um, so Madit, I'll tell you a little bit about my entrepreneur sort of route. Granted, I haven't freed myself from the nine to five yet, but I have started generating cash flow, very little cash flow, but cash flow is cash flow, right? So imagine this, like maybe I'm like a white belt in jujitsu with one stripe. So I'll put it like that. But um, what really got me sort of, you know what's crazy for the longest time, I never even wanted to be an entrepreneur. Like it was fucking scary. It was too risky for me. Like. Why the fuck would I ever want to do this? I just want to get paid and that's it. Well, fast forward to after graduation, I was getting all this cash flow, this money and stuff, but I felt like I had no purpose, you know? And I don't know, there's something like, I almost felt like, um, almost like a prostitute, dude. Like you just go in just for the money get, given. I still care about my patients, like all that sort of stuff, but a piece of me felt really empty. And then it wasn't until I met Joe where he really changed my mind, life. He made me, um, he told me to read, uh, I was just telling him like, yo, Joe, I don't even know. Like I'm hella, I just feel hella depressed and this emptiness inside. And at the time I really wanted to be a public health officer really bad because I felt like more than anything, I could change the world as a public health officer, right? In the government. But the reason like so then i read books like start with why and rich dad poor dad and it really helped like really helped build that entrepreneur entrepreneur spirit that a lot of people talk about and for um for me i realized like what i wanted wasn't necessarily stability but it was be able to change the world but i just didn't know how right that's where start with why really came in my life um, cause, and I started getting more into self-help, personal development. And I realized like, there's a lot of bullshit out there, like for personal development, like in the self-help world, there's people always trying to take your money. People are always talking like, and even if they're good, like my life coach, he's an amazing guy. I'm going to bring him on my podcast later or my videos actually, but he's an amazing guy. But sometimes they're talking all the way up here and you're like, they're like talking about the clouds and like fucking hippie shit that you don't understand. And for me, I just wanted to help other people relate, you know, through topics like money, relationships, like everyday people shit, you know, and that's what I wanted to bring to the table. And so I know that's a long story, but um, you really want to bring something that changes the game out there, that changes the status quo. like. Dude, being a copycat adds very little value to the world, you know, and everybody has their own different abilities, uh, abilities like branding, the way they speak, the relatability to people. Like people say I'm very real. Well, because I talk to a lot of people, you know, and I think like that's one of the benefits of pharmacy. I've probably talked to more people than most people than other uh, professions, you know, just because we get 
the whole general spectrum at the end of the day most people are going to come to the pharmacy at one point whether they're sick or whatever or they got to feed that like promethylene addiction shit so i would say read a read a book start with why have a strong purpose like why do you like what do you what's unique about you what do you want to change in the game pick one area like you have vr medical technology social media and mobile health what do you think you would be best at and what's the game changer that you can bring like i said there's way too many copycats but thank you again for asking me my about my journey about entrepreneurship thank you Madi. okay next question i have a question from Galam. a lot of my friends are in pre-med and oftentimes they make fun of me for taking the easy way out by doing pharmacy I'm in my second year of a six year PharmD program. I don't know how to respond to them. Any tips? Well, first of all, your friends are fucking assholes because why are you gonna hate on somebody's hustle? You know, like just because I decided not to, just because we decided not to do a, like spend our lives in school forever doesn't make us any less of a person. And at the end of the day, it's not like doctors are above us. We're all part of a, uh, of a team when you own a pharmacy who do you report to do you report to a doctor no we don't doctors doctors prescribers nurse practitioners pas all these critical people in the healthcare system help generate our leads to the pharmacy they help generate our script count they need us as much as we need them and here's the thing you can you can be the best doctor but if you can't get your patients to improve adherence with their medications if there if there's other doctors because patients have multiple doctors right if they're if another doctor is prescribing shit and then there's another interaction are you gonna know no so in a sense like the pharmacist is a healthcare proxy right and you honestly i think a lot of time when people are talking shit um it's important to ask questions rather than argue with them you know uh first of all you got to believe that hey you know what just because you're doing pharmacy doesn't make you any less of a person and i i talk to doctors a lot of my friends are doctors and i think like it's just people you know there's some just douchey ass people out there and you got two options you can either deal with, if they're really good friend you could deal you can have a conversation with them or cut them like why the fuck do you need them in your life because if they're if this is pharmacy and this is what you really want to do then you shouldn't let anybody get in the way of that right yeah but let's say these are your day one homies you really want to keep the relationship okay how do you have that conversation and this is granted this is something i'm still working on but i'll give you my two cents right just sitting down with your friends be like yo you know what it kind of honestly it bugs me when you like clown on me for a pre-med and I don't know if you're joking i don't know if you're not but this is something i take really seriously like i just want to know your like your thoughts like about pharmacy and stuff and just get their two cents and once you start opening up it makes the other person open up or make them aware that hey you're being a douchebag right now <laughs> you know this is something i really care about and you're shitting on me for it and if they're the, if they're a true homie then they'll they'll understand and you guys will work out a solution together it's just very natural but if they're a fucking dick about it cut them out of your life i don't i think like at the end of the day i don't think there's anything wrong with trying to communicate more with the true homie right uh people will be like oh you know what you're petty and stuff but no like if it bothers you like every single relationship if you spend enough time with certain people you're eventually gonna have problems at some some time along the road right and so i think it's really a good drill to just talk to people and don't be like try not to be aggressive you know like you don't have to be like fuck you man like what the fuck like why are you why are you being a dick right now you know just be calm and just express how you feel and try to look at it i don't want to say objectively but just be like, hey, you know what? I just want to get your perspective. Why do you why do you feel this way? Why do you think this way? And at the end of the day, you guys don't have to agree. You can always agree to disagree, man. So again, Golam, sorry to hear that you're going through this. Uh, I think as pharmacists, we all go through this sort of thing. Maybe you're an intern and stuff. We all go through this thing. But we're an important, we are important to the healthcare field, if not one of the most important uh people in their lives 
in our patients lives because we see them all the time so yeah as you can tell this this topic is near and dear to my heart man okay next question hi kevin hi kevin my name is hunter i'm a senior in high school currently trying to decide my major in college would you recommend doing a four-year undergrad and then continue my education in graduate school studying pharmacy or do you recommend two-year pharmacy prerequisite leading to a four-year pharmacy graduate program uh i'll be commuting to school do you think working during pharmacy school is benefit uh beneficial or too much of a workload to handle thanks for your time i love your youtube videos they're very helpful keep up the great work thank you hunter appreciate it um so this is a two-part question to answer the first question uh yeah i believe you should work in pharmacy school it's a great way to test to see if you even like pharmacy school how are you supposed to know if you like pharmacy if you've never been in one right so that's the first thing and honestly just organize your time better if uh and adjust if if you need more time to study communicate that with your pharmacy manager you know and if they let you go because of that that's fine find another job you know there's always multiple solutions for that anyways i really want to get to other side of the question um so would you recommend doing a four-year undergrad and continue in graduate school yeah so basically you're talking about whether you should do a six or four-year track and honestly i'll tell you the reason i got into a six-year program straight from high school and i'll tell you why i didn't go and maybe this will affect your decision but when you graduate high school you're about 18 years old right you're just you just turned it into an adult it's you have very little experience in the world you don't really know that much you don't have to pay bills you don't have to the it's all your life those experiences are just through school you know and to make a huge decision like i want to do pharmacy for the rest of my life given that you have very little information that's why I decided to go to a uh, do a four year undergrad program and then go straight into and then go into farm school then because I still wanted all these experiences. There is always a doubt in my head, like, what if, you know, like, what if I did something else, you know, and I think because uh, I went to undergrad school, I got to enjoy so many cool things like I got to live abroad in Hong Kong. I got to sort of live a regular college life you know and i want to accelerate it i want to sell a pro program after you know um but you know these key things like in your life you have to realize college is an experience you're never going to get this time ever again and so that was the reason why i did it also i heard like in in uh the six-year program i got into that they basically burn and churn you a lot of people fail out and <laughs> it sucks if it happens to you it sucks I wanted to have like uh, some sort of backup plan at the end of the day, but I realized like, honestly, you don't always need a backup plan. Um, because I feel like when you have the right mindset, you can make it through anything. And if there's a obstacle in the way, you'll figure things out. You're probably smart enough. If you got into pharmacy school, you're definitely smart enough. So I hope that that helps you a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, it's up to you, you know, like you you do realize that you don't have to apply your third year everything's pretty much taken care of for you so honestly uh if you're asking me as a true homie i would say go the four four three route but especially with pharmacy school like if you don't want to worry about pharmacy school admissions later down the line just go to a six-year program either way you're gonna have a great experience there's no right or wrong answer bud so i hope you uh, make your decision soon all right guys thank you again for watching the ask kevin e show if you guys got questions you can always submit them via email subscribers at refugeehustle.com you can send me an igdm uh at kevin underscore the underscore refugee kevin the refugee underscore after each uh word yeah so you can send me a dm and i'll answer your questions again follow me on social media also finger banding finger bang that like button it helps my videos get seen more because honestly my views have been shit in the bed and i want to do more videos for you guys i want to help you guys out so uh try share this with your friends any anyways thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time peace